A caravan of cruisers trails a suspected stolen car in Los Angeles. The driver took off when police tried to pull him over for a traffic violation. The car has no license plates and is similar to one used in a recent homicide. Police keep the suspect in their sights, but from a safe distance. It's after 10 p.m., and traffic is relatively light. But when vehicles get in his way, he blasts by them any way he can. Creating his own passing lane whenever he needs one. He speeds along at over 80 miles per hour, jumping on and off six different freeways and losing a tire in the process. Traffic gets heavier as the suspect races through downtown L.A. He heads north out of the city along the Pasadena Freeway. The old highway is narrow with no shoulders and he's forced to slow down and weave around other cars on the road. Just before the freeway ends in Pasadena, the suspect makes a sudden U-turn. He squeezes past the line of cruisers and takes off back towards L.A. The chase has gone on for over 90 minutes and is now in the city of industry, 20 miles east of Los Angeles. The car lost at least one tire during the pursuit, and the suspect is having trouble steering. He loses control midway through a sharp curve and crashes through a metal fence. The crumpled car comes to a rest just feet away from an electrical tower. The driver suffers only minor injuries, and officers quickly take him into custody. Police later determined that the car with no license plates was neither stolen nor involved in the homicide. But since he bolted from the traffic stop, the suspect is charged with felony evading.